Hello, hello. So I am just pulling onto the lane of Hagen's Croft. It is Sunday today and we are heading for another rural ride to Castle Ward. I have been looking forward to this all week. Castle Ward is like eight miles long. You have everything you want. Uh, you have like the forests, the gravel paths, you some stage come up by the water. Um, it's a great, great spot. So this is organized by the Rural Riders. And uh, let's see if I can get past the big horse box. Oh, I'll just park up here. So yeah, this is organized by the Rural Riders and <clears throat> me and Siobhan are gonna go. So Maggie and Callie are coming with us and then Siobhan's actually doing a good deed. And she's lifting someone from Lessons Riding School called Lynn that I knew like years and years ago. Um, her horse is an ex riding school horse, Harvey, that my mum actually even used to ride. So um, my sister's coming too, because she's gonna take Peggy for me for a walk. So that'll be really, really handy because I didn't want to have to leave her at home. So I'll bring these with us and hopefully, well, I know we're gonna have a nice day. Um, I always say hopefully. I know we're gonna have a nice day here. The sun is shining and uh, let's get to it. Definitely need my sunglasses now. And just so you're all aware, I am now fully insured to do horse sitting. So if you're planning on going on holiday or have a weekend away, I can come to your house, your stables, and look after your horses for you so they stay in their usual routine. I think it's a lot less stressful for them than them moving away. Um, so yeah, just let you all know. Cali girl, are you ready for another adventure? Gotta get the treats. Here comes Flora, better save one for her. And of course, if you have any smaller four-legged friends, like your dogs or a wee cat, that's no problem. I don't mind feeding them whilst I'm there. Um, so yeah, just another service to offer to let you all know about. Come on, Cali girl, we're in a rush. We're running late. We're never on time. <sighs> Hopefully Siobhan's got delayed a little and then we'll time it just right. She says I like to count to ten. Oh, is she? It's well timed. That's a new one. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what your treats? That's when you know Callie's excited because you don't want them. Fair enough. You can have them when we get there then. Last chance. Okay, not sign of me. <laughs> He's trying to get under the foot well the mommy does not want to be back here with us. Fluffy, what's wrong? Are you not co-piloting because Lauren's in your seat? A poor dude. He doesn't like being beside Peggy. There we go. Good girl. Right, so we are heading for a hinge. Uh-huh.
<laughs> Golly, poor Harvey. <laughs> what have they done? Them? They walked you to death. Watch your racks or child. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah? <laughs> so that's me home. I'm trying to take this video, but Robert keeps he keeps spying on me through the blinds and I I can't talk when I'm being watched. Anyways, we had a really, really good day. And I just want to let you know I had mentioned it on my stories, but this weekend it is the Susie Thompson Working Hunter Festival at Higginscroft. Peggy! And uh, I am lucky enough to be sponsoring this competition alongside many amazing sponsors. So I'll be there on the day in the horse box. I'll have made a little stand. I'll have my microscope with me so I can do fecal egg counts on the day. Um, I have prizes for the Working Hunter classes. Um, Jillian has put so much effort into this. Um, I hear there's so many people that are giving a helping hand. All um, proceedings will be going towards cancer charities and it's going to be an amazing two days. So I hope to see you all there and if you need any more information on any of my other services, equine thermography, massage, clipping and grooming, I do now the insured um, horse sitting um and any information on the warming programs or if you'd like a fecal egg count done just give me a message i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope to see you next weekend um supporting what is going to be a great two days i'm um, raising money for cancer i'm pretty sure peggy just snored the whole way throughout that video <laughs> i've become like immune to the sound but if you're wondering what that sound was it's peggy snoring in the back so i'm going to end this video here so be good to yourself folks and I will see you next time.